Hey, this is Rich from HouseBrands.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses along with Dave's son Caleb. And today we're going to show you a quick and easy way to fix a faulty ice maker. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. Right, Claire? So what's going on with this ice maker is it's not making any new ice. So let's take a look to figure out what's going on. So the ice maker itself is right here in this housing. This is the supply line. So new water is supposed to enter into the tray here and fill up and then that would form ice and then it'll just keep dumping it over and over. And so that's, that's how you get your ice refilled, but nothing's happening. This, this whole deal here is frozen solid, probably the supply line in here. And also something else up here is, is frozen. So to fix this problem, we're going to use one tool, kind of surprising, but it's a hairdryer. So basically all we're going to be doing is just blowing hot air in here. I'm going to get the supply line and just in this general area, and we're going to try to free whatever is frozen solid. One word of caution, a hairdryer can get so hot it could actually melt plastic in here. So just put it on uh, the low setting and that'll be good enough. All we're trying to do is thaw it out, so the low setting will work just fine. Okay, so we did that for a couple minutes. Now, let's try it again. So we'll turn it off. Turn it back on, see if we get anything better. It's moving better than it did before, but it's not quite thawed. So we'll have to give it a little more heat. So I've removed the ice bin so I can get up underneath it better. I've been thawing this out with the hairdryer for a while, like about 10 minutes or so. And I can now feel that there are no obstructions, no nothing's frozen around the supply line or on either side. Now on some ice makers, they up here or maybe on the side, they've got a, a test button and that's super convenient because then you can see if the mechanism's working and what should be happening is when you hit the test button, this whole tray will spin and it'll drop ice down here and then new fresh water will come through the supply line and fill the tray up again. On this ice maker, I can't find any test button. So as a result, all I can do is turn it off and on and just kind of observe it. You know, and I would say it's moving a lot more freely than it was before. All right, so now that that's all thought out, we have to wait a while now for the ice to reform and it's going to take hours. So all we can do at this point is put the ice bucket back in. We'll close the door. We'll let it refreeze and hopefully we'll end up with a bin of ice. It did the trick because check this out. So here we have a whole bin of ice. So it was effective. Now it's also possible that this is gonna keep happening, that it's just gonna freeze up over and over. In which case you may have a faulty ice maker and you may have to replace it. This is probably more of a short-term solution. You just need to have your ice made for that night or for the weekend. And so anyway, the hairdryer trick will generally work and hopefully this helps. If you got anything out of the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that helps our channel. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thanks much for viewing, and we'll see you in this video.